It is a great pleasure to welcome back to Cinema Showcase, Mr. Wayne Newton. Wayne, good to see you. Thank you, Jim. Great pleasure to be here. Last time we had the pleasure to talk was in scenic Key West for License to Kill. And we were getting rained on. And Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think we started that interview about five times. We did. Before. <laughs> uh, now, in License to Kill, you played a rather uh, nefarious uh, sort. And in your new film, The Adventures of Ford Fairlane, I've got to tell you, you play one of the most disgusting record producers I have ever <laughs> Tell me record producers aren't like this. I mean. Well, let's put it this way. Most of them aren't. Uh, although I did draw from some, uh, some real-life people uh, on that character in parts of it. <laughs> what appealed to you most about... Uh, about playing uh, Julius, the, the the very outrageousness of it, or, or what? There were several aspects that that intrigued me. Uh, he's uh, he's an interesting guy because he thinks himself above the music business. Mm -hmm. He believes that he is a bigger star than than any artist that he could have under contract, and he thinks that if it weren't for him, none of them would be able to find their way home. And I have known people like that in the industry. And it was fun for me to, uh, to be on, on the other side, in, in, in those other shoes, if you will, yeah. and make that believable. Uh, because all artists suffer through, not to the extent that Julian Grindle takes mm. it, obviously, uh, to the end result, but we've all suffered through those kind of people in our industry. And, uh, and they do exist, and it's unfortunate. Hmm. And in actuality, outside of, of, of Ford Fairlane, having to suffer through something like that must be an incredibly, uh, as in any business, humiliating, oh, horrible. It's awful. It's, uh, awful. it's awful because it's so demoralizing. Yeah. You know, you, you get to the point where you begin to think that they're correct. And when they're able to demoralize you to that point, uh, then if you don't rise above that and, and start to draw from, you know, the bootstraps on up and mm -hmm. pull, pull any kind of strength up and any kind of creativeness that you might have, it's over. I mean, they've destroyed more people than, than, uh, than one could imagine. Mm. It's unfortunate, I mean, that, that there is that, <coughs> that side to the entertainment. Business. Well, maybe it's not. I mean, maybe maybe it's uh, if if one is to look and believe as I do that history creates what it needs. Possibly, if 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 those artists fall along the way at that point, then maybe it was bound to happen sooner or later anyway. Mm -hmm. And so maybe it's a blessing in dis in disguise too, yeah. because part of being able to survive this industry. Is to is the ability to live through those kind of people. Yeah. Let me ask you about how you, when you have those those rare moments, I would imagine to uh, to try to contemplate your your success. Um, your success in Las Vegas has been unparalleled. I don't think it's uh, a, a secret to anybody. And uh, in in the last few years, there's really been a great resurgence of interest in your in your career from all areas. Um, to what do you attribute this? What do you, what do you, what, what strength do you, do you pull from to, uh, to, to keep going, uh, gaining greater heights? To I, I believe if I were to have to truly pinpoint it, Jim, it would be the fact that the public has always kept faith in me. No matter what I've been going through, uh, no matter what changes musically I was going through, no matter what controversy they might be surrounding me at the moment, the one thing that always seemed to remain was the public's belief in me. Mm -hmm. And that has kept me going. I mean, that has uh, inspired me. Uh, and I realized also one day, I was driving to work with, believe it or not, a record producer, and uh, he said to me, have you ever hated going to work? And I realized, maybe for the first time in my life, what a lucky human being I am, because I have never not liked going to work. And, uh, and I don't know many, many people that can say mm -hmm. that in life. Well, that's yeah. a terrific thing to be able to say. It really is. Yeah. Um, what's 
up next for you, uh, film-wise or, or record-wise? Well, there's an, an awful lot going on. I've got the brand new album just out on Curb Records called uh, The Best of Wayne Newton Now. Yeah. Uh, I've got two scripts that we're reading, uh, and should we do either one of those films, they'll start filming in October, November. And uh, then uh, we just got a call this week from uh, the producers of the James Bond series that they're con contemplating a new film and want to talk to me about that. So I don't right. know if it's if they're going to bring that character back or want me to play a different one, but all of that's really exciting to yeah. me. And, well, uh, you're, you're one of those people that I can say without hesitation, it's, it's so... Um, Marvelous to be able to say, uh, yeah, I, I'm so happy your career is in the, uh, the, the, the upward path it's in, and I hope it continues that Thank way. Thank you very, very much. Wayne, thanks for taking this time out. Appreciate that. Thank you, Jim.